Ustaz Abdus Salam Sayyid Ahmed talking about the legal frameworks in Sudan. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال تعالى في محكم التنزيل ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أموات بل أحياء عند ربهم ولكن لا تشعرون سورة البقرة الآية 154 نزلت الآية دي في قتلة غزوة بدر اللي هو حرب ضروس بين كفار مسلمين ومن حقهم يقتلوا أي كمية الموت فيه من من المسلمين 14 ستة من الانصار ثمانية من المهاجرين و ومن الكفار 70 نفر في ليله من ليالي رمضان في 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 السودان اللي هو بنادوا الاسلام والمسلمين ومليونيه عبد الحي و المهم يو نو يو نو ذا ستوري قتلوا ما يقارب ل 1000 نفر كويس كل الجرم اللي ارتكبوه هو انه بنادى بحقهم الدستوري اللي هو كان يتكلم عنه مولانا حق سيمبل ما ما دارين ولا دارين عمارات ولا دارين طائرات خاصه ولا دارين سيمبل دارين تو بي فوكال ويمنع الظلم من من الناس يعني سو so anyway ف يعني 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 ده ظلم ما بعد ظلم كويس ف ماي انترست اون ذيس توبيك اروز When I was doing my master's at UCL, somebody came to me, the, the first lecturer came to me, and he said, are you Sudanese? And I said, yes, how did you know? He said, oh my God, I miss Sudan so much. I, I didn't know who he was. Uh, of course, then I knew uh, later on. He was Professor William Twining, the, one of the legends, uh, jurist, who was uh, seconded to the University of Khartoum as a lecturer, and he, he is still uh, alive. And he said, uh, is Sudanese laws are still like bastard? And this offended me like to the, to the maximum. And I didn't know what he meant. I said, sorry? Yeah, he said, you heard me right. Is the Sudanese laws this bastard? I said, uh, I honestly don't know. He said, are you not Sudanese? Yeah, I said, yes, I am. How comes you don't? I said, look, I studied here. I came as a young student. I studied here. And I, I, I honestly don't know nothing about Sudanese laws. And I decided to dig deep down into this, and I found it really and truly, <laughs> the word bastard is, is even less uh, description to the Sudanese laws. Is part of it is Indian, part of it is Saudi, part of it is like uh, Jordanian, part of it is Egyptian, part of it is like custom law. Anyway, you will see, uh, anyway, uh, now. The purpose of this talk is twofold. One is to uh, uh, highlight the sources of the Sudanese laws and to critically evaluate the, the outcry of the so-called Sudanese scholars about Sharia laws and the fact that if the, the uh, civilians uh, government is elected, will make them lose the Sharia laws. Nonsense. Nothing of that is true. The second uh, fault is, of course, to suggest reforms. And I, I, by the way, this was done before the massacre of the uh, 29th of Ramadan. And, and uh, I was very optimistic, very, uh, I was trying to uh, highlight uh, what we need to do to reform the Sudan and the Sudanese laws to have a fair system for everybody and to have like, uh, 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 to make the law accessible to everybody in Sudan and to uh, uh, reform like the criminal law, the uh, personal status law, company law, and so forth. So, uh, and this will create, of course, a fair system for everybody. Judges will have better train, uh, will be better trained, and would have uh, justice done better in a fair system, uh, which they have no fear of, of the ruler of a, or a dictator of, or a totalitarian system. Now, the, uh, the, unfortunately, there's no record, no, no study, no, nothing prior to this period, uh, which is the Mahdiya period. Uh, during this currency of Nadia, it's said to be, and I, and I honestly say, uh, uh, very vague. There's no study, there's no research, there's no paper or anything that uh, leads to something substantial or a study that shows what rule applied. But it says Mahdiya applied uh, uh, Sharia laws, 
and that's how far it goes, and nothing else uh, substantiates what was said or what was done. At least they had a fair system. At least it worked for them. At least there's no complaint or no uh, 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 extrajudicial killing of anybody during Mahdi time that is uh, on record anywhere. Now, the reason why I picked this, as I said, uh, there's no record pre Mahdi. Uh, the the uh, whole system was very primitive. There was no uh, uh, legal journals. And unfortunately, the first legal journal of, of the Sudanese laws was edited and was uh, created by Professor uh, William Twining when he was in Sudan as a lecturer at the University of Law. And, and since then, I think it's now stopped almost. Uh, nobody writes anything, nobody reads anything, nobody knows anything about laws. And, and it's like uh, one man rule. And, and unfortunately, we got rid of uh, one and 10 more to go for. And we, we, we will be there and we will carry on anyway. Anyway, uh, the, the type of Sharia law that was applied, honestly, nobody knows. And then uh, uh, the customer rules were very, very strong at that time. And at least it was fair system. But uh, that, uh, unfortunately, brings us back to uh, what he said about uh, division in the society. That because you're Muslim, we'll apply Sharia laws for you. Because you're Christian, you will have a different rules. Because you are, you are, you are from somewhere else, uh, you, we will apply, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, another type of law that is suitable or applicable to you. Anyway, uh, let's move on. The, the reason why uh, this was so unfair and, and there were so many systems of uh, rules in, within the same country or within the African continent that the, the, the uh, uh, colonial system I think prefer to have like uh, a different uh, plural system that uh, kept the customary or, or, or local courts or local magistrates and to have sophisticated uh, English judges sitting in, uh, in, in the urbanized areas and to uh, leave the ingenious uh, legal system in place for people to be uh, judged uh, on whatever they've done or not. In Sudan, for example, we have uh, Mahakam al umad which is unfortunately uh, 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 system, uh, nobody knows what knowledge, uh, uh, if your father was uh, like uh, somebody who, who was somebody, uh, you're lucky to be, uh, to have this for life. It's like uh, life here, and you become a judge or umda, then, and you sit as a magistrate, ruling in every matter. It doesn't matter if you know it or you don't know it, if you heard of it or not, it doesn't matter. And that's how fair the system was uh, during the colonial system. Unfortunately, uh, uh, it's never worked. The, so they kept the, the, the native courts uh, with the umat and with the local magistrates, and they had uh, the sophisticated, uh, legally trained uh, uh, English judges in, in like in Khartoum. Anyway, uh, this uh, Professor William Twining was, was, he was a jurist, and he was, uh, he was uh, uh, very interested in, in, in the Sudanese laws and what went on and how they ruled uh, far in the villages or so he went uh, on purpose to conduct a, a research to Medani. He didn't go to like uh, uh, my village, uh, seven days uh, drive uh, in 1956 to the Nubian land. So he went to Medani, which is uh, homeland of uh, Professor Alam and uh, Mr. Saif. Anyway, he met uh, the, the Omda, I'm sure he's one of your uh, grandparents. So he said, uh, can I ask you a question? He said, so, and uh, he said, uh, you don't speak English? He said, no. Do you know anything about English uh, law? He said, Belhel. And he said, do you know about uh, the rule in Stephen and Dunnison? Uh, he said, Belhel. Anything he said, he said, yeah, I know, I know it all, I know it all. So he said, okay, there's something called in English tort law, that is in the English textbooks uh, that I teach to the University of Khartoum graduate students. And it's this, if uh, a camel or a dog bites off your, your hand, the owner of the animal is responsible. It's a very well-known principle of law in the UK here, and it's English law that he was teaching in textbooks. And he said, uh, yes, I know it, I know it. And he said, if a camel in the zoo bites off somebody's hands, how would you judge uh, uh, without knowing the rule itself? He said, anyway, in any way, uh, anyway. <laughs> he was very clever, uh, and he had uh, spontaneous answers. And, and uh, I spoke to him uh, 
There's very interesting essays that he wrote about this, and uh, if somebody wants to share, I have the book and I have the reference uh, to that. So anyway, uh, unfortunately, as I said, the sophisticated legal trend judges sat uh, in the courts in Khartoum, Bahri, or Umdurman, and, and if you are uh, uh, sadly having to be somewhere far, then uh, no justice, and no rules, and no, uh, it's just a, a matter of luck. Uh, anyway. That's how it uh, worked then. Then uh, the way uh, the, 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 there was a lot of things went on at the time, and they were trying to apply English rules in a, in a proper manner and trying to uh, uh, reach uh, like a, a, a compromise between applying uh, 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 English uh, rigid English law rules to a primitive society like uh, Sudan in 1956. So there happened to be a huge gap and, and difficulties in applying these rules, unfortunately. So anyway, uh, all these changes. Now, today, the, the, the civil code that we have is Egyptian, unfortunately, and it's that of 1984, which is still applicable. And uh, unfortunately, uh, that is a real bastard law because it's uh, based on Egyptian law. And the Egyptian law have a different, completely different system of uh, uh, French law base, and, and uh, we have English-based uh, rules, which are common law, uh, and it's like, uh, anyway, you can only <laughs> uh, imagine uh, at this stage, uh, so even though they coded it and recorded it, and, but it's still, uh, they went back to the 1984 civil procedure rule, and unfortunately, even that, uh, it has a bit of Egyptian, a bit of Jordanian, a bit of, uh, it's from everywhere, it's like, uh, uh, Kushari, uh, Halat Kushari. So, development of uh, uh, English uh, or Sudanese rules during the condominium uh, Anglo Egyptian rules. Of course, everybody knows this, uh, especially the, those of my age, this General Kitchener. Since those days, unfortunately, we had a, a, a dictatorship system. He was the person who would make rules for Sudan. So even though all the other Commonwealth countries would make their rules in the UK Parliament or they had a, a delegated authority in a Parliament, but unfortunately the Governor General of the English, he was the only person who was entrusted with making Sudanese rules that governed us uh, uh, during that time. So the reason, as I said, uh, the way they developed it between 1980, uh, 1989, 1898, sorry, and 1956 is they went through a lot, uh, and uh, unfortunately, they tried high and low to uh, find a middle ground for the applicable rules, but unfortunately, uh, the, the, the difficulty was application of uh, Egyptian rules in some part, and application of uh, common law rules, which is just made. Uh, but anyway, uh, when it comes to the criminal law, you'll see the, 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 what was done. So the customer rules, it was not written anywhere. And a judge would sit, and he will ask, "Where are you from, and what customs you follow?" You tell, you dictate your own uh, fate in, in in court. If killing is permitted in your culture, then yes, fine, <laughs> we'll kill you. So that's that's how it works. Unfortunately, following a customary rule, which was not written anywhere. So, um, of course, this is uh, the first uh, 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 Sudanese constitution was then written. It didn't last for long, unfortunately. It was, uh, uh, it's, it's our fate. So we, we're just so unlucky. Each time we bring, we get rid of a dictator, somebody worse comes uh, on the scene and takes over. And, and despite the fact that Sudan attained its uh, uh, independence in 1956 from the condominium rules, the, the uh, reception of uh, Egyptian, English, and the other rules uh, continued until 1971. So uh, the uh, best rule that was applied at the time was the English law rules under the guise of justice, equity, and good conscience, which worked uh, partially well. But unfortunately, uh, then uh, uh, it didn't work very well as it, it was like uh, different rules applied in different places. And uh, unfortunately, that caused grave injustice for everybody who was Sudanese then. 
So in 19, uh, between 1971 and 1973, there was some plan uh, like Arab pro-Egyptian, Babakar uh, Allah, I think he was, the, the cover. He decided to get rid of all the other rules and bring in uh, a uniform uh, rule that works for Egypt. It must work for us as well. Why not? Just copy and paste, bring it, apply it, and it should work. Unfortunately, uh, uh, the, those who were trusted with drafting the rules were not uh, honest. They, what they've done, they copied and pasted the whole rule, which applies to a different cultural system, yeah, which is different in Egypt, based on Egyptian uh, 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 and French law. And uh, that did not work, unfortunately. So the, the reason for this failure was, uh, A, the, the, the copying and pasting uh, included, unfortunately, in the draft that they submitted uh, for the Minister of Justice, it says like Mahkamat uh, Tanta to apply these rules in when it was meant to be for Sudanese. So even copying was done uh, in, a, in a very bad manner that uh, did not uh, work. So that, uh, there was no uh, uh, commissioning of, uh, of, of like a study or, or an attempt uh, to introduce this in, in bits. And uh, sadly, uh, this uh, was uh, very, very short-lived and cancelled uh, uh, in 1973. And they went back to uh, the old rules, which uh, did not work anyway. So this, uh, following the complete failure of, of the uh, civil system, uh, and this is only applied to civil system, and uh, Shortly after that, it was codified, like uh, a similar to uh, the uh, Egyptian, but in a, in a Sudanese way. And that was uh, done uh, when the new contract law was introduced and the Sale of Goods Act uh, was also introduced. And uh, this bit of a shaving was done by one of those who was, uh, I think, uh, Mr. Zeki Mustafa, who was the dean of the college of, or, or the faculty of law at the University of Khartoum. It helped for a bit, but it, uh, not for long, unfortunately. Let's see. Criminal law. This is where the disaster lies. Unfortunately, uh, uh, they, the, the British wanted uh, something that worked in, in the other colonies, like the, the uh, Indian uh, penal code was uh, brought in, copied and pasted somehow, and uh, it didn't have the hudud. But it says uh, uh, they will make any offense that uh, 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 tribal in Sharia law, they'll make it an offense. But guess what? The three things, alcohol consumption was not an offense. And then uh, extra uh, marital intercourse was not uh, an offense. Homosexuality was not an offense. It's, it's exactly like English law. But unfortunately, in a, in a society like a Sudan uh, 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 and in, uh, back in those days, uh, it would have been impossible for a rule like this to, for a judge to sit there that you were caught doing an act of uh, uh, any of these. And then uh, we will let you off because uh, we, we are applying English law rules uh, in uh, uh, a land which is not even uh, uh, half, uh, half of the society dedicated in it. So that didn't work again. And uh, 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 whoever wants to read uh, about an, a very interesting case, the, the last paragraph is R versus Brown. Uh, some, uh, I think, uh, 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 very high class people were in, a, in a, uh, some sort of sadistic uh, behavior and that they injured each other and they sued. And then uh, it, was, it, it, it became like a disaster. This was in 1993. It didn't work in, in the UK in, in a very civilized society that is uh, like uh, almost open and uh, homosexuality was found to be an offense in 1993. So this case, uh, I think it's a very important case that we should look at again when you have time. Now, unfortunately, for some bizarre reason, uh, uh, the British completely neglected uh, two, three areas of uh, laws which are very important for, for any uh, society to uh, flourish or to, to move forward. Uh, that was a company law. 
uh, the, the British had this uh, 1925 Land Registration Act and the 1925 or 29, I think it's 29, Company Law, Company Registration Act. So the Sudanese picked this up, uh, copied and pasted the same rules in Sudan and left it there until the company law was changed in 2018, unfortunately. Since 1956 uh, 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 or 1925, to date, uh, it, it was left like, uh, until last year. Likewise, the Land Registration Act still in force, still uh, the same applicable rule to the land a registration is the 1925 uh, British law, which I don't know how they manage, how they uh, make it work, I have no idea. The company law, for example, between 1956 uh, and 1989 changed at least 11 times in the UK. And the, the latest act, uh, which is already outdated, is the Companies Act 2006. Uh, ten years on, I think it needs to be changed again. So in Sudan, uh, they're, they're very uh, uh, patient, I think, and <laughs> they don't care uh, what happens. Uh, likewise, the trademark, the uh, bankruptcy and cyberspace crimes and so forth, none of that w w was in the Sudanese law books until the British left and until this uh, afternoon, unfortunately. Now, uh, one of the, the very, very bad uh, uh, situations that, uh, uh, and this will hardly scratch the surface, that uh, uh, traumatized the Sudanese people, unfortunately, what uh, General Numeri done in 1983, he, he decided to uh, hang around with uh, Hassan Atravi and uh, the other uh, Islamist uh, uh, scholars, uh, so-called scholars, and he changed his, uh, the way he behaved. So he decided to uh, wake up in one uh, fine afternoon and decided to change the Sudanese uh, penal code to Sharia rules. We are, we are Muslims, I'm sure somebody will pick this up and put it out of context and he will say that somebody Shari in London, Kafir, he said this and, and, and they will make a, a big scene out of it. We are Muslims and we believe in, uh, uh, in Sharia laws. But unfortunately, it, when it's applied proper, it's fair and it works. But what they've done here, unfortunately, uh, uh, it was rushed. And the draftsman that they used, they copied and pasted, again, uh, different rules from different parts of the world, which have like uh, a different uh, cultural system. At least uh, they don't have somebody who sleeps rough or somebody who uh, does not have, uh, uh, or, or where the next meal coming from. And uh, uh, it was uh, also badly applied. And uh, in Quran, the, the, the shortest chapter uh, or surah of, of Quran, you go, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, na atayinak al-Kawthar, fasalli rabika wa antahar, inna shayanika wa abtar. Oh, no, not this one, sorry. Uh, I think it's, uh, no, uh, I'll remember anyway, so don't worry. The Elaf operation, Elafim, Similar Marm, the Elaf operation, Elafim, who was sent for the other father, Lizia Tamum, Juru, Amenam, and Hof. When you want to chop somebody's hands off, you make sure that he has eaten his uh, last uh, uh, his breakfast, he has uh, somewhere to live, and somewhere. Uh, to, uh, uh, he has no reason, basically, to go and steal or to mug somebody or to rob somebody or to uh, cause somebody's trouble. Those of whom uh, uh, they applied Sharia laws and they chopped their hands, uh, at least 60 of them, they, they were non-Muslims, sleeping rough, no food, no medicine, nothing, that they, 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 or, or no homes, yeah? And uh, they will say, oh, uh, it's, not a, it's not a problem. And they will say, uh, uh, Allah said this and uh, hudud is perfect. In, in uh, Surah Al-Kahf, you will see, Rabbana uh, subhanahu uh, wa ta'ala said, uh, I will come to it, sorry. It, it, it says in, in, a, in a very, very simple way, that if you want al-faqr, ma wa darura, kan indam safina. يعني ما أقول لك لا هو ده عنده شغال وموظف وسرق لازم نقطع يده لا آه. no it doesn't work that way 
Unfortunately, uh, what they want, uh, uh, they got it so bad. And in the hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, on Aisha, أَدْرَأُوا الْحُدُودَ مَا استطعتم. It's very short. Hadith Sahih. أَدْرَأُوا الْحُدُودَ مَا استطعتم. يعني والحاكم يقول إنه أحسن يخطئ ويعفي بدل ما يخطئ ويقطع يتزول. Unfortunately, the so-called scholars in Sudan, they, they for, for some strange motive, I don't know what they had in mind, I have no idea. But في في سورة الكهف كان عندهم سفينة يعني كانوا السفينة دي كان لفقراء يعملون في البحر كان لمساكين يعملون في البحر فأردت أن أعيبها وكان وراءهم ملك يأخذ كل سفينة غصبا يعني واحد عنده سفينة كاملة كيف يكون فقير هذا هو مقياس الفقر مسكين ما حتى المسكين ما هو this one I started I started يعني when you want to chop somebody's hands off make sure he has eaten his last meal those people did not have simple meal at the time ف anyway في حديث ثاني عن الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم عن أبي هريرة قال الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم أدفع الحد ما وجدتم له مدفع وده حديث صحيح جدا جدا ما أعرف الأحاديث دي غابت عنهم وين I have no idea ف all this outcry عن الشريعة وعن تطبيق الشريعة ومسيرة مليونية ولو ما طبقنا الشريعة ما في شريعة مطبقة في السودان والآن يعني القانون الساري قانون القانون الجنائي لسنة 91 ما له علاقة في الشريعة الإسلامية unfortunately anyway يعني الواحد ممكن يكتب كتاب عن الحتة دي about the bad application the bad drafting the bad intention to, to injure uh, uh, our, our people and the stains that was uh, the social stigma and the stains that was caused. If you, if you bring the head of the family and chop off his hand or, or his arm or leg, that you will make the rest of the family uh, uh, criminals. That's at, at the simplest. But anyway, let's move on. Uh, now, uh, this, is, this is interesting. They, they had this... Uh, في القرآن ربنا قال أحل الله البيع وحرم الربا فل stop he didn't have uh, Allah is very clever يعني يعني he he said it in in, in a short abrupt uh, uh, message حل الله البيع وحرم الربا ف what they've done the the the, the clever uh, draftsmen of Sudan they came up with this ah it's Sharia نحن لازم نعمل uh, I don't know شركات تأمين إسلامية كل الشركات تأمين the the way it works very simple they come to London the same syndicate ensures uh, whatever here or Sharia or the Islam or the Islam, all of them are in the same way. And they did not draft it in a, way, in, a, in, a, in a clever way, in a, in a clever way or a roundabout way. And we say that and that it is a bogus. It is a bogus way of, of uh, disguising this in a, in a, in a, in a silly way. And the, the most covered bank that uh, stole people's money today, not in uh, like 30 years ago, Al Bank Al Islami, Bank Faisal Islami Sudani, well, Bunuk is so called Islamia. Unfortunately, it's, it's very, very sad. I have no idea. So they charge interest and they charge a very, very high interest and they still disguise it uh, in a way that they call it, uh, oh, it's a halal way. The, unfortunately, the, the, those uh, rules, I think we uh, uh, briefly touched this, uh, uh, but since Mimma Ba'ath Allah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ila Yumina Hada Ma Fi Wahid Anas Alta, and I'm not a scholar, I'm not a Mu'allim Bita Deen, Lakin Alta Akhtar Misita Sheikh Ma Fi Zol Adamohu Lil An Mimma Ba'ath Allah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Mazal Quran Da ما في زول أعدموه في الدنيا دي عشان عشان ألحد والإلحاد ذاته حتى حتى الطريقة اللي عملوه I don't know what the idea أعدموا محمد محمد الطاها one of the renowned Sudanese scholars unfortunately بتهمة ملفقة and nobody knows what was the reason who honestly it's it's very disrupting to see uh, 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 somebody's life is taken away 
just like that because he said something or he, he was thinking outside the box at the time. So the, as I said, the effect of, on the other uh, uh, amputees, they uh, not only uh, chopped off their hands, but if you see it again, they chop uh, you like a cross chop, like uh, your leg and one of your arms, and, and it carries on like this. So they've done like 60 uh, uh, or, or more, and at least six of them were like crossed, uh, uh, amputated for repeated offenses of theft uh, and aggression with it. Most of those who were amputated were not even Muslims. I uh, uh, said that already. This had a knock-on effect on uh, families, and, uh, uh, and unfortunately, uh, even the, the uh, bad stigma that comes with it, that you live somewhere and they know uh, your hands were chopped off uh, because you stole a bar of chocolate or anything. Uh, and one of the very sad stories, and I think uh, it, it is not uh, written anywhere, but uh, I think one of the judges uh, were, had to think outside the box at the time. Somebody stole like a, a recording uh, machine, and uh, I think the threshold for, uh, for, for this offense to be applied was $100 uh, uh, or equivalent to it. So uh, they brought an expert who uh, cleverly said, uh, this is 95 pounds uh, or, or $95 worth. And he said, OK, check if the batteries are inside. So they checked, there were six batteries. And he said, ah, that's the $5. So instead of dar al hudud bil yani bil tariqa al qal rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam they reversed it to uh, make you uh, uh, like uh, to punish you for for some strange reason that uh, as i said nobody knows it's just to show force or to oppress our uh, beloved country uh, men or women constitutional rights uh, i'm sure he said enough uh, about the constitutional rights of the citizens uh, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't matter what type of constitution you have. If you have uh, an oppressor who will uh, cancel whatever was said or done in, in, in an overnight, uh, and I think one, one of the very interesting stories that uh, is well, very well known in Sudan, uh, I think they, they created a Mukafat al Fasad or something they called it. Uh, and then uh, they brought, I think it has to sign off the last uh, uh, rule for it to, to be working. But when it came, uh, it says uh, in so many words that uh, anybody is not immune from this suit if this, this, this happens. So uh, Mr. President, unfortunately, he, he didn't sign that off. He refused because he knew that he was stealing our cash and he was, uh, 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 anyway, trying uh, his luck uh, too far. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, most of the killings uh, in Sudan was, uh, uh, was done by, uh, like, a simple uh, bylaws. It's not a proper law that goes through the parliament and discussed and negotiated. And unfortunately, as I said uh, earlier on, in Ghazbat Badr, the word that we talked about is that until the day of this day, they killed 14 people. في غزوة القيادة العامة ماتوا قرابة الألف أن نترحم على أرواحهم ونسأل الله المغفرة لهم. و uh, overdue reform. This was, an, uh, as I said, it was done uh, prior, but I think we need to do some more legwork to uh, uh, oust uh, the current uh, dictators or whatever. Uh, let me say this very little story, unfortunately. One more minute. I was reading a, a, a book uh, some time ago for, for my little girl, and it says somebody went, a little girl went to a zoo, a boy, I think, went to a zoo, and he, he was asked to sign a form. He signed the form, and uh, it turned out to be an adoption form for an elephant, which was behaving badly in the zoo. So he, he took the elephant home. The elephant was uh, breaking anything and everything. So he opened the fridge, he ate every food there, and he broke the uh, fridge. He went upstairs, broke the stairs, broke the bed, and uh, uh, looted the whole house. He tried to hide it from uh, mom, and he put it in the wardrobe or, or in the closet, broke the wardrobe, and uh, this, is, this is what is happening. Uh, a bunch of uh, uh, criminals took over the presidential palace, with, uh, with Silah, 
they have no right whatsoever, constitutional or otherwise. ما في ما في حد بيعرف هل ده بقوة القانون وبحق القوة لقوة الحق. Nobody knows. And uh, killing and looting and stealing is a common scene in Sudan. And 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 for that reason, خلينا شو نسبيك in Arabic عشان إذا ولا يفهم إنه هما اللي بيعملوا ده غلط كويس وقتل النفس الذي حرم الله حرام جدا في كل الشرائع والمفترض يسمعوا أقل شيء to hand over to a civilian government and and to end this nonsense because enough is enough. Thank you very much. أسف للإطالة. بنحلم بفضاء أوسع بنحلم بزمن أجمل بلاد ميلاد بلاد ميلاد